The fire in Gales Point, Manatee, erupted sometime around 4.30 this morning when the church van was set on fire. But there was no prompt response from the National Fire Service or the police, even as the men who occupied the house at the time formed a bucket brigade to extinguish the blaze. They had to abandon that idea when they realized that butane tanks were inside the burning van. I got out the bed, knocked on the door for the young men who reside in the house along with myself, and we got out and tried to throw a few buckets of water on the van, but we realized that it was already too engulfed in flames, so we had to draw back. And then uh, one of the young men alerted me that because we went to Dangriga in the van on Monday and we had supplies in the van, we had two beauty and tanks that were still in the van that we didn't remove as yet. And when he reminded me of that, I told them that we need to push back further just in case those explode so that nobody would get hurt. So we just had to step back and, and watch the van engulfed in flame. A team of police officers, including scenes of crime personnel, arrived after 10 o'clock today to process the scene. Photos were taken and a glove retrieved nearby the property, believed to have been used by the culprits. Uh, fire department is all the way in Dangriga. We have no direct contact. Well, I have no direct contact for the fire department. Um, there is supposed to be a policeman stationed in the village, but obviously he is not there, so there is no response from there. I, I called uh, um, superintendent that I know personally, and he relayed the information to the commander in Dangriga, but so far no one has showed up as yet. Now, the police station is just a short distance away from where the fire occurred, but the station was locked up and none of the two officers assigned to the village were present. Chairman Jason alt says that the absence of law enforcement is concerning for the village. You know, we've gone through several phases and the police presence is pretty much absent here because generally there's nothing going on here. It's got a reputation, but generally there's nothing going on here. There's one policeman that if there was something going on, he can't really do anything. So right now we currently are supposed to have two police officers. Um, they have motorcycles, so I, I don't know what to say. They're not here. Uh, very rare is there actually police presence here, even with two of them supposed to be here. So um, I don't know what to say about that, but we're going to have to change something. Dwayne Muda for News 5.